Hey guys, this is Animan, and it's time once again that we find out what's in the box. Or a lot of boxes in this case. I mean, wow. Just seriously, guys. I mean, you guys have sent me so many of this. That it's almost to the point that I am unsure if I can even with this. I mean, holy crap. It's just absolutely phenomenal that everybody would just go to this length. And I guess I understand why, because October is the month of my birthday. But, oh my god, I have been waiting for this for so long and I'm totally excited. I mean, you guys are just absolutely incredible. I can't believe that you really go this far just sending me all this. But anyways... So, no time to lose, let us begin on this mountain of boxes, uh, starting off with this little package right here. So, this is going to be coming from Carl. Alright, so, we shall begin this one, and, uh, hold on, if I can manage to open this. There we go. Alright, and it starts off with a little letter, so let's just, uh, read this. Uh... Oh, that's why. Okay. Anyhow, uh, how do I open this? There we go, there we go, there we go. All right. Greetings, Animat. It's Carl again, and happy late birthday. I have returned home from my holiday in Southeast Asia and Australia, and it was such an awesome experience. If you ever visit, I highly recommend Thailand, the, uh, the kingdom of Siam. The culture, beaches, and food are all amazing. And don't worry, I did not encounter any pointless tooth losing man or monkey comic relief if you know what I mean. Uh, for this being the year of talking animal animated movies, it's really great to hear plenty of them are doing so well critically and financially. And how movies like Zootopia, Finding Dory, and The Secret Life of Pets have made such a huge impact in cinema. Though I'm yet to see Dory or Pets, I saw Zootopia with some local furries and it was truly phenomenal. I'm not often, uh, it's not often you'd find an animated movie this entertaining, funny, emotional, and thought-provoking all at the same time, which is actually true. So just a few questions. Which 2000 animated, 2017 animated movie are you most interested in? For me, Captain Underpants and The Stars seem the most unique and intriguing in my eyes. Uh, that is a very good question. Uh, I am intrigued to see what Pixar has with Coco, but I do agree as well to see, um, Star... Maybe it could actually be interesting, but Captain Underpants as well, actually. Uh, but yeah, so far, those are just the ones on off of the top of my head. If you could live in an animated universe, which one would it be? Uh, very good question. Maybe, uh, maybe the Disney one. The one that's in the House of Mouse, just to live in the Disney world, literally. Um, uh, why was SWAT Cats cut from animation look back Hanna-Barbera? Uh, Hanna okay, for that one... That is actually because way back when, uh, during the early years uh, of me on YouTube, the reason why I was cut there was mostly because of, ti uh, of time constraints. I wasn't allowed to post anything over 15 minutes because I wasn't big enough of a YouTuber to do so. So I had to, so pretty much what ha happened was that I decided to just cut that out and just keep the rest from there. So it was mostly for time constraints. Uh, will you take, will you take us to Mount Splashmore? No. Uh, I won't hold, hold you up for much longer, but just want to tell you that I have attached a small wooden craft I brought, I brought while in Indonesia, so I do, I, I do hope you like it. Additionally, I've attached a digital drawing I did earlier this year of Nick Wilde and Judy, uh, Judy Hopps, and, uh, to my surprise, one of my, uh, one of the Zootopia directors, Rich Moore, tweeted my drawing on his Twitter. Uh, that's something I feel very honored about. Sorry if the colors looked washed out. The color printer I have isn't the best. Keep up the amazing work. Your pal from New Zealand, Carlamon. Alright, so thank you very much, Carl. So, let's see what you have uh, for us right here. So, and, uh, oh, oh, look at here. So, this is his drawing of Nick and Judy from Zootopia. I mean, from what I could tell, the printer is fine. I don't really see anything too much that's washed out I guess unless you're not really satisfied with the details that you're getting with your printer so maybe there is that so all right so let's see this little wooden thing that you got and uh oh what do you know look at this it's uh apparently a totti group so it's like this 
so it's like this anime style cat and he has like a little lollipop or a ball on a stick I suppose no, but it's actually very cute. It's very cute, I must say. All right, so thank you very much, Carl. That's very nice. Very nice of you, dude. All right, so next up, might as well go with this one right here. And this one will be coming from Flo. Oh, boy. It's wrapped up in everything. Oh, boy. Flo is prepared. And he even comes with a card, so uh, let's see what we have. <laughs> and it's, a, it's entirely like Hunchback of Notre Dame themed. So, it's your big day! Oh wow, it's... <laughs> Speaking of Zootopia, <laughs> I got a Zootopia card. Alright, so, uh, hope it's better than any birth, uh, any birthday you've seen before. Uh, happy birthday, Animat, much love, Flo. Uh, P.S. Along with your birthday present, I decided to send you a list of my current top 10 favorite Disney movies from Disney Animation Studios in case you're interested. Though you already know number one, uh, you might like to hear the others. Yeah, I think I can guess. I mean, you got this hunchback theme going on, I wonder what your, uh, what, what it is. So, alright, so, moving right along, if you guys want to know, uh, this is Flo's list right here. Um, maybe you guys would be interested as well, so I'm just going to show you a bit of what her list is. Alright, so, we got that done. Uh, now let's open up the present that we got here, so. And my birthday present, it feels weird. Could be a book, I don't know, but. Ooh, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? So I, I got like this notepad. What the? Oh my god. Oh, oh! Oh, look at this. So apparently I, I got stickers of, uh, I got the stickers of the Yo-Yo Flamingo from Fantasia 2000. Uh, a sticker of, I think it's a, is it a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. It's a sticker of, uh, one of the brooms from the original Fantasia. And, uh, the Bulldog from Yellow Submarine. And, like... You got the like this weird freaky motif going on on this notebook. Is, is this like a nine on bold mountain themed notebook? Oh, probably, probably. Like, I don't know, there's no copyright or anything. I don't know, it's like you got this weird freak. So I got a freaky notebook. That's pretty much my present. And along with some cute stickers. Maybe I'll, maybe I could just put in like, like if it get if, if it's a little too freaky for me, I can always do this. <laughs> All right, but anyways, thank you very much, Flo. That is very nice of you. Very nice. All right, so moving like right along, we'll go into this one, um, which I don't think it actually says anything, but I'm sure it could have a letter in here somewhere. All right, so. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, so it's from Amazon. Oh. Hi Animat, I hope you like the 30th anniversary of the movie I hope that you will review soon. Question, uh, what are your thoughts on the 2017 My Little Pony movie and 1964's Hey There is Yogi Bear? Uh, I haven't seen either of them, so I'll just say, I don't know, we'll see when I watch them. Alright, but I ended up getting... Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I got the 30th anniversary of Transformers the movie, which... Some might say that nowadays it's pretty much the best Transformers movie. I mean, still better than what Michael Bay offers. So that's a little nice addition to my collection. So that's going to be awesome. All right, so moving right along, we'll go with this one, which is from uh, apparently Alex K. So let's see what Alex has for us in here. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait. Uh, no. Okay, good. I thought I had a paper cut. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, let's see. From, oh, James Sullivan. Oh, it's from James. Oh, James. What did you get? Oh, it's from James. <laughs> James, you for real, man? You for real, James? He sent me Yoshi's Woolly World. James freaking sent me Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh my god, dude. 
That is amazing. Oh my God. Thank you so much, James. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. You know, fun fact, uh, for my birthday, I actually also got Splatoon. So this is a nice little addition that I got here. And uh, I did have the, uh, like, I have the green uh, wool Yoshi amiibo. So I do have that. So it's going to be fun trying it out with this. So, oh my God. Thank you so much, James. This is actually going to be a lot of fun. Yee! Oh my God. This is actually awesome. All right, so moving right along, um, we got from Sam Snyder. All right, so let's see what Sam has for us. Oh, hold on a sec. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's see what we got over here. We'll start off with the letter that is inside. Uh, there we go. Okay, I didn't ruin it. So. Uh, dear Animat, it's me, Sam again, uh, Sam again, and, uh, to say, uh, that I'm so happy you are making your animation podcast on a weekly basis. It really puts me, puts a smile on my face to hear you talk about the latest animation news that happened, uh, this week, and to see more great videos that you have and will continue to make. I love that anime, uh, I love that anime's ad. Uh, by the way, you did know that the Art of Kung Fu Panda 1 books, uh, that are on Amazon have a price range between 150 to 350 dollars. Uh, are they a rare breed? Because uh, some of that uh, came before, uh, some of that came before it are cheaper than it. Well, I can imagine it could be like a hot ticket item, considering like this could be something amazing that uh, artists would really want. I mean, like let, let's admit, Kung Fu Panda has a really distinct and really amazing art style that really does stay true to uh, like kind of the ch uh, the Chinese art style that you would get from before. So I can imagine that it could be like a hot seller. Um, anyway, so. Uh, also, speaking of Amazon, did you know that I am writing this early September and the art of Finding Dory is only uh, $10? Seriously? Okay, that I did not expect. Uh, maybe it's just because it's brand new, I don't know. Also, in case you haven't seen your gift from me, it's something regarding your favorite movie. Anyways, uh, here, uh, here's your tri-monthly dose of questions. Uh, Inside Out or Zootopia? Oh my god, dude, you cannot ask questions like that. You know I love both these movies so dearly. Uh, I'm skipping that one. Screw it. I love both. <laughs> how do you feel about um, how do you feel about famous internet critics calling animated films children's movies? Uh, I've already done a freaking video on that. Screw them, honestly. They don't know jack all. All right. Anyways, uh, meanwhile, uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, oh my god. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Speaking of games, I actually got another game, and it's uh, Fantasia Music Evolve for Xbox 360. Unfortunately, I don't have a Kinect, so I can't really play it, but this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, it also has songs, apparently, uh, it has Let It Go by Demi Lovato. I'd rather have the one from Adina Menzel. Uh, Counting Stars by One Republic and Lay Me Down by A-V-I-C-I-I. -I -I. I don't know fridge but cool oh my god this is actually pretty awesome so all right thank you very much sam this is oh my god i i, I wasn't expecting like normally i'm accustomed to just getting like dvds and blu-rays but now i'm also getting games holy crap uh like one day like keep in mind guys one day i would love to do like a let's play channel but i said that i want to do it when i reach a thousand dollars a month on my patreon but i don't know we'll just have to wait and see Never say never, it could happen. But ow, fudge and it. Anyways, uh, this one is gonna be coming from uh, Justin Kennan. Oh, Justin, oh my God. Justin usually brings out some pretty interesting stuff. So let's see what he has for us today. All right, uh, oh boy, it's a book. He has a book. All right, happy birthday, Animat. Uh, proof I never read the book. Uh, and also he did a drawing. Oh, and it has something, uh, written in here. Hold on a sec. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this book I never read in many years. I owned it. Uh, I don't know how many years of which members of my family gave it to me, but it's yours now. Enjoy. P.S. If you don't want it, maybe a fan of yours will. Uh, let's see. It depends. What book do you have? The fun book. What's the fridge? Let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me just clean up a bit. All right. The fun book. So, and like, what the fridge? So, 
yeah, it's like, uh, what is this? So, I, I guess it's like, I don't, I don't know what it is. So, like, I don't, like, it's hard to really describe what this fun book here, uh, like, the fun book of cartoon people. So, I guess it's like, it's something I suppose to teach kids about drawing cartoons and stuff? I don't know, like, I, honestly, like, I had to analyze it, but chances are, maybe I'm gonna keep this, you know, just in case. I mean, it, it's always nice to get, um, you know, to always have more uh, books about animation or cartoons and stuff like that, or how to draw. Like, and this looks actually pretty interesting, so maybe this is actually a good keeper. So thank you very much, Justin. I don't think I'm gonna be giving away this one uh, too soon. Uh, all right, so next up we got is gonna be uh, this little piece from Steph. Oh, Steph Felton. All right, hold on, Steph. Let me see what you got. Uh, nah. <laughs> I can't do it with my hands. I gotta do it with the knife. <laughs> I'm not that strong yet. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a good job working out at the gym, but I still need a bit more. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. And uh, oh, this is actually rather weird. Steph, what the fridge did you send me? This is a sign that it's either food inside or something's broken. All right. Anyways, to Matt. Uh, P.S. for already destroying the envelope. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but what, what, if you destroy the envelope, then why do you... <laughs> you know, you, you couldn't have... You don't have to put in the duct tape. It would have... You, you know, you would have done the job for me. The, the, like, this would have been destroyed either way. Oh! Oh, well, well, you know, happy birthday! And it's with Wallace and Gromit! Oh, that's cute. That's actually really cute. Uh, hope you have a cracking day. To Matt, happy possible belated birthday from love, Steph. All right, so let's see what we got over here. Uh, dear Matt, hope you enjoy the Tsum Tsums and a treat that no birthday or celebration would be the same without lots of love, Steph. So I'm gonna open this just to see what it is. So apparently this is something that you cannot have, uh, like it, it would, like your birthday would be incomplete without some Maltesers. So that's the, that explains, uh, that actually explains the noise. I got some Maltesers. Okay, so now that I have fun with that, let's see what else I got. And it's a butt. And it's, ah, it's, a, okay, it's a Tsum Tsum. It's of Kristoff. I got a Kristoff Tsum Tsum. Well, I guess my collect, like, I guess like the frozen part of my Tsum Tsum collection has begun and uh, now I got Kristoff, so. I don't know, it just feels a little bit incomplete. I'm gonna see if I can hold this on my hat for the longest time, I don't know. I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna stay, but yeah. Basically, like, I don't know, part of me does feel like it's incomplete because like, if you're gonna have Kristoff, you might as well get Sven as well. All right, so, um, like those kinds of uh, packages are pretty much done. Now we are going to move on to the boxes, most of which are gonna be coming from Amazon. So, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what we got in here. And now, I'm going to open up, and we got this. And it says here, uh, believe, it or, uh, believe it or not, this was actually made for a TV movie sequel for a really popular chick flick from Simon Howells. Oh boy, Simon, what the heck did you send me? Oh boy, you never know what the zaniness of Simon. Uh, let's see now. Just gotta pick this up. And, uh... Eh, and it is a... This exists? You know, funny enough, Simon Howell did send me Mean Girls. I didn't know that there is a Mean Girls 2. And I don't know if I want to trust it, honestly. The plastics are back. Well, what do you know? Yeah, I don't know if I want to trust it. You know, this is the, the very rare situation where because there's no Lindsay Lohan, I kind of doubt this. This is very rare, but yeah, I got Mean Girls too. Thanks, Simon? <laughs> no, but it's actually very nice. All right, thank you so much, dude. All right, so uh, moving right along. Uh, here, I'll go with you. All right, this is another Amazon box. We got that out. And uh, we got another, oh, this one looks, 
I think it's a little bit smaller. This could be a Blu-ray, or I might be wrong. Anyways, it says here, Dear Animat, happy birthday! Here is something that I thought you will cherish to this day since you are a huge fan of Disney animated films. All the best, Daniel C. Uh, let's see now. Uh, now, let's just, uh, oh, uh, is it a Blu-ray? No, it's not. Okay, so, and, uh, what we got here is actually, no way! Oh my god! Ah! I have been so interested in seeing this! Oh my god, you're kidding me! It's a de it's the documentary Frank and Ollie! Oh my god! No way! Oh, and it's- oh my god, over 70 minutes of bonus feature material. This is gonna be beautiful. Oh my god, you have no idea I was considering looking for it. Like, I was down to the point that I was even thinking about maybe I should get it digitally, but oh my god, now that I actually have this, this is actually amazing. Oh my god, you have no idea how happy I feel. Thank you so much, Daniel. This is awesome. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, I feel so happy. All right, next up. Now let's move on to the next one that we have over here. So technically I was wrong with the Blu-ray, but oh my god. I got Frank and Ollie. Yes, man. Yes. So, moving right along to the next box that we got. And this is going to be... Uh, let's see. All right. Hi, Matt. For your birthday, I give you a gift that you'll appreciate in the long run. This is an 80s animated classic and you'll probably love. It's one of my favorites. Hope you enjoy it. I'll promise it's, I promise it's not bad. Trust me. From Mike Mixtape. Oh my god. Mike! Mike, my boy! What did you send me today? So, wow, like, we got a comeback from the cinema, from the cinema Royale crew. Not only James, but we also got Mike. Like, it would have been absolutely perfect if Morgan also sent me something, but eh, you can't ask for too much. And uh, what the fridge is this? It's, uh, oh, it looks Japanese. It's apparently the professional uh, Golgo 13. I have honestly never heard of this. Uh, have any of you guys heard of this one? Honestly, okay, Mike, uh, expect a little bit, expect a message soon, because I need a little bit more info on this. You seem to know it more than uh, I do, so we're gonna have a little chat on this. I'm not mad, I'm not mad, but, like, you say it's good, I'll take your word for it, but, oh, fudge. And it was, Christoph was doing so well, too. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I gotta know what the fridge this is, so... Thank you very much, Mike. All right, so next up, uh, we might as well go into this one. So, all right. So, let's see what we have. It is a DVD. All right, so let's see. And this is, uh, this movie may possibly have the most big-lipped alligator moment of all of animation. Uh, who knew that some flo uh, floppies are floppier than others? Ricky the Third. Well, I mean, the, the literally, if you're talking about the biggest big-lipped alligator moment, it's hands down all dogs go to, go to heaven. It has to be. All right, so it is a Disney film, apparently. And we got, oh, wow. It's a DVD of the Brave Little Toaster. And I'm sure, like, this is something that a lot of people ask me to check out and stuff like that. It's the one that, oh, no, wait, no. Oh, wow, this is not the Brave Little Toaster. Scratch that. Brave Little Toaster to the rescue. Okay, that I didn't know. I thought the, uh, honestly, I, I didn't know that this was actually a sequel. Uh, like, the only sequel that I knew about Brave Little Toaster is the one that he goes to Mars with a baby. But I guess, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've honestly never heard of this. So, okay, so I got this one. So, what is the weird, the biggest big-lipped alligator moment? I don't know. I mean, like, the original one is weird as well, plus the fact that it has, like, uh, like, you, you know the Nightmare sequence with the freaky clown? Yeah, I mean, what the fridge is up with that? But anyways, thank you very much for Brave Little Toaster to the rescue. Alright, so, anyways, moving right along, we also got this big box right over here. And, uh, let's see now. Oh, wow, we got a double dose! Hold on, guys! We got a bit of, we got a little double dose right here, so, uh... Uh, Neil, uh, Neil here, just sending you more anime for your collection. More anime? Ooh. I got some M&As going down. And this m &A is... Hold on. Oh! <laughs> well, I haven't seen this one, but I know it's a good one. 
<laughs> I got the boy and the beast. Oh, this is gonna be a really good watch right here. This is gonna be nice. All right, so if that's an, one piece of amine, what is the other piece of amine that I got? Even more amine for your good friend Neil. All right, let's check out all my amines. And I got, ooh, oh wow. We got a little bit of a theme going on. I got Summer Wars. That, that's actually another good one. So, oh my God, I got some amine, I got some uh, amine watching. So not only the professional, but I also got the boy and the beast and also Summer Wars. This is gonna be pretty good, oh my God. All right, th thank you so much, Neil. This is going to be pretty fun. Oh my God, that's actually really nice. Really nice right there. All right, moving right along, we also got this box uh, from Kay Devaney. Oh boy, what do we got here? What kind of crazy shenanigans am I getting myself into? All right, so uh, let's just open this up. All right, let me, hold on, hold on, open the box. There we go, Ugh, shouldn't be that hard. All right, so, anyways. Uh, let's see, right here. Uh, do I have more? Okay, so anyways. Um, hello there, Matt B, and happy birthday. I would just like to say how much of an honor it is to be a fan of your work and love for animation. Uh, you'll probably notice that it's been a year since I last wrote of you. I just decided to take a full year off before I wrote you again so that you and everybody else won't get overloaded again. Uh, I hope that worked out for you. Uh, since it, since your birthday is coming up, I decided to send you something special, which I hope will arrive uh, when you receive this letter. I hope that you will like it. I would also like to support your work on Patreon, but honestly, I don't have the money for it. Yet, if I were to do it, I would support you, uh, support your work, not for a review. I'm watching your review and or sending you something for what's in the box uh, another way to support your work uh, seeing this is your birthday I made some drawings of some Disney characters because this year will mark certain birthdays and anniversaries of certain Disney characters and movies I apologize if some of them look a little messy uh, I hope that you like it and I hope that you will have a wonderful birthday keep up the good work and I can't wait to see more of your future work from Kevin D happy birthday to the three little pigs and happy 75th anniversary to Dumbo so uh, we got the 65th anniversary of Robin Williams with his little drawing of the genie right here. Uh, we also got uh, the anniversary of the three little pigs. And also, oops, uh, hold on. And we got a little drawing here of Dumbo for the 75th anniversary. All right, that's nice, that's nice. So, uh, now that we got that done, uh, let's see what we have. Starting off with this. Uh, uh, let's see, um, alright, so anyways, uh, uh, let's, how do I open this? This is not gonna be easy, it's like a bunch of papers together, so, alright, there we go, let's see, you live the magic, so apparently it's this, I got a little book of the rescuers down under, uh, so, oh, it's like a, it's a little picture book. So yeah, like, as you can see, this is like a little kid's book that they can read the rescuers down under, apparently. It's like an old Disney relic, I must say. It's not every day that you would find merchandising of rescuers down under, so. This, it's not every day that you would stumble upon something like this, so. All right, so, moving right along. We also got, oh boy, it's a combination of two things. So. Uh, let's see right here. We'll start off with this one. Uh, and apparently this is a DVD. It's a two movie collection. So I got two Homeward Bound movies. Uh, I don't really know much about the Homeward Bound films. I heard apparently it's great. So, uh, that's actually pretty interesting. Now, uh, now I actually got both of them. And it still has, uh... Uh, maybe, oh no, it doesn't even have bonus features. Well, they say it has bonus features, but it's like, it's not really much. It barely has anything. So yeah, I now have the Homeward Bound films. And I also got this box right here. What is this? What is this? Uh, let's see now. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, there. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh boy, it's a VHS. Oh God. It's another VHS. Now let's see what do I have. It's oh wow, oh my god, oh wow. It's not every day that you actually see uh, a VHS still wrapped up uh, in its original packaging. 
I got old yeller. <laughs> so yeah, um, anybody want to cry? Yeah, here is uh, old yeller. Oh my god, but yeah, this is actually a pretty rare piece. I mean, it's just the fact that it's still in its original packaging. Um, wow, this is uh, this is definitely one of a kind. So I actually got some pretty rare relics right here. So uh, thank you very much, Kevin. Hold on, let me just. There we go. Uh, just to place it a lot better. There we go. Thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, moving right along. Oh my God, this one. You know, uh, there's something actually very interesting is that I've kept this for a while, but there's an indication that I cannot open this until my birthday. So, like, I got like I would have opened this in the last episode of What's in the Box, but I was told not to. So let's see. Now that it is my birthday, what did I get? And uh, apparently, oh my god, what a mess. Oh boy. Um, whew, I got some, uh, got some nice little pictures. Uh, let's see. Your grins are always wonderful. I didn't know uh, what to think at first, but uh, it really had grown on me. Since I've never been uh, too comfortable to grin hugely on my own, uh, want, uh, wanting to prefer or not to always have uh to be persuaded more fine with smiling uh you keep doing it extra huge uh how con uh how kind of comfy it is uh it is cute uh you really deserve all the praises to get and more so don't worry just keep on smiling the way you want to smile so uh but let's see here oh my god as you could tell like look in this box like it's nothing but just a pile of the tea candies it's just like this is the packaging oh boy uh i think like i think she wanted to make something hold on a sec yeah i think uh yeah unfortunately hold on a sec i think like there's supposed to be a clay uh like a clay version of me but uh, unfortunately i'm not sure if it worked out in the bot in uh in the box i don't know if it lasted long oh i think it's supposed to be ah uh, yes it's supposed to be like right here there we go. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll keep finding the pieces. Uh, there it is. Ah, I knew there was there was some kind of letter in here somewhere. So I'll just. Oh God, I don't want I don't want that to fall. So screw it. I'm just gonna put it right over here. Ah, jeez. Ah, fudge, nabbit. Ah, hold on a sec. Oh God. That's when that's when you know there's too many things. All right. Anyways, going back to here. All right. Anyways, get let's get back to business. So. Uh, let's see now. Uh, oh wow. Okay, so we're pretty much starting off with uh, a little drawing. So anyways, I'll just put it like this. Uh, dear Matt, uh, hi Cookie Monster. Uh, you were so, you are so cute. Just watching you is always so good. Uh, have a happy birthday and happy Halloween. Uh, decided to send you this package uh, by making it extra special for you and have fun for me as well. Uh, being uh, one of the most entertaining YouTubers, uh, I came across, uh, being one of the most entertaining YouTubers I came across by, uh, will you be doing a piece of the, uh, oh, will you be doing a piece on the male body? Random sounding letter, yes. Uh, I know I'm not flowing right, but I was working on it a little by little, so I won't forget to write down, uh, what I wanted to tell you, uh, you really need, uh, you really worked me up, uh, on that Alice in Wonderland review myself. Uh, being the thou- oh, being uh, the thousandth fan, uh, bringing it up in a good way. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, behind on that choice completely and entirely. Though I do like the movie Perfectly Fine since, uh, July's What's in the Box that makes it three fans. Me, including that said, uh, they like the movie. You were, oh, you were right on the review though. For me, it's still about a girl, uh, now, uh, grown, working herself through the madness uh let's see now uh so uh, i think yeah that that's pretty much it uh the rest is pretty much explaining her thoughts on uh alice uh through the looking glass so we also got another one right here oh god oh god we also got this one right here <laughs> so we got this one uh, let's see, anything else that's inside? Uh, I found a cookie, and yeah, so there, there's a cookie right here, and, uh, I found, uh, oh, wow, there's a manga. I, I, I got a manga in here. It's, uh, the manga of Time Killers Short Story Collection, so I got this little thing right here. 
uh, oh, and I guess uh, this one is supposed to go in. So I got this. Oh my god, this is pretty crazy. Anything else? Is, is there anything else that's inside? I also got another. Uh, I got a, a Lara bar. I got a, like another chocolate bar. Oh, and I, I got another chocolate bar. So yeah. The rest is pretty much candy. The rest is all godforsaken candy. No, seriously, just look at this. Oh wow, nothing spilled. I am actually that awesome. I'm actually very impressed. All right, oh my god, thank you so much. All right, so moving right along to these live boxes. Ah, man. Okay, I'm putting this down here so that we don't cause any more trouble. All right, so uh, this big box is going to be coming from Kim Lechman. So let's see what we have in here. So first off, oh wow, uh, is there is there an order? So apparently, ooh, oh I got. So this is a, a DVD. I got Subaba the movie and Holic the movie. Oh nice. Oh, nice, sweet. So, pretty much, I got the Yuko collection. Uh, really love that girl. And oh, oh wow. Speaking of Finding Dory, wow. I like. I, I think Sam just mentioned about f the art of Finding Dory, and here it pretty much is. Oh my God, Kim, really? Oh wow, this is actually amazing. So yeah, now I also got the art of Finding Dory. It's funny how you mention something and suddenly it just appears in your hand right there. All right, so. Uh, the next one that we also got, it's another one. This is from Kim as well. So, uh, hold on. Uh, we got another one coming from Kim. So, th this is apparently very nice. Uh, we also got the Holic movie, uh, Subaba and the Holic movie. And, uh, <laughs> got the Art of Finding Dory. So, what else do we have? So, holy crap. Oh, is this a painting? Oh, my God. It's an entire painting. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> This is a legit painting. <laughs> so me going to Sony, oh my God, in the, so me pretty much going to Sony Pictures Entertainment, Epic Mickey style. Thinner shall be used. Oh my God, that is very nice, Kim. Oh, very nice, very nice. So what else do we also got? Uh, the world, so apparently we also got another book. Oh my God, it's another book. Actually, no, 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 that should not be on the floor. That should not be on the floor, a painting. Someone put hard work on it, should not be on the floor. There we go, there. All right, so apparently I got another book, The World of Tim Burton. So apparently this is, uh, oh, this is another, oh wow, this is another like, uh, another massive art book. I technically, if you guys remember, I actually do have another art book that's nothing but Tim Burton. You have seen it in um, like the animation look back in which I talk about the animated films of Tim Burton, but this is another one. Oh wow, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, this is this is very nice. It's very nice, very lovely. Like you got all the all the stuff, especially not just his artwork, but also of his movies. Oh my god, it's actually really cool. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so oh my god, this is actually great. Thank you so much, Kim. Like you really got big onto this one. I mean, you got. Like the art of finding Dory, you got a, a full on painting, I got like the DVD, and oh my god, you like you really went all out. Thank you so much, Kim. Alright, so we got this big box right here. Um, I'm saving this one for last because this is a like the heaviest one I got, but I'm just gonna go through this one, seeing what the fri why the fridge is this so big? It's not even heavy, it's just so big. Like, why are you so big? Alright, so all right, so let's see, what, why are you so big? Why is it, like, what do you have that's so big? It's in this bag, apparently, so. Um, it even has a little note. Hi, Matt, Heinrich again. This is the third and last birthday gift from me. Uh, you will, from now, look like a beloved video game character. Look like a beloved video, what the heck? What did you send me? Heinrich, what the heck did you, hold on, well. First off, I think it's probably best if I just uh, um, take off the, uh, the little bow right here. Uh, let's see. Ah, nope. I lied. Okay. Oh, that's why. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Like, why does this bag have to be so hard to open? It's coming off one way or the other. 
There we go. There. Meh. Now give me my bag. And I'm screwing this all up. I don't know what I'm doing. How the fridge am I supposed to open this bag, man? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with myself. I don't know how to open. I don't know how to freaking open. I want to just open it. Is that so hard to ask? There we go. It's open. All right. So what the heck did I get? What the heck? So I got, oh my god. I got a mustache, it's a pretty much a Mario kit where I got gloves, mustache, and a hat. <laughs> so I got this entire collection. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but apparently now I can go on Halloween as Mario. So that's a thing I can apparently do. So thank you so much, Heinrich. And now, we have finally reached the last gift. And it's this big box. Oh my god. So, what the heck is so big in this box? Oh my god, with all the stuff, how can anything can top that? I have no idea, but we shall see. What the heck? And it's also in a giant box. What the heck is all this? Okay. Hi Matt, Heinrich again, and happy late birthday. Hope you had an amazing day. As for my birthday gift, I'm now sending you some history about nine animators we all love. Okay? So, what is it that I ended up getting? I don't know, but what the heck did I receive? And it's still in that bag again. Oh my god, I hate this. I'm not a fan, you know, honestly, I'm starting to not like this bag at all. Because it's starting to freaking. There we go. Here, just get rid of all this. Ugh, man. It's not easy to open up the bag. There we go. Okay, there we go. And I got. Ah! Oh my god, it's a book! Oh! It's the book The Nine Old Men by Andreas Dejia! Oh my god. Wow, I've been getting so many things that I was not expecting, but I've heard about this book. Oh my god, this is gonna be. Really interesting. Oh my god. Oh, and it has some beautiful classic animation right here. So this is going to be a highly fascinating read. So that is pretty much all that I've got for my birthday. And oh my god, never did I expect that I would get such a huge variety. Not just DVDs and Blu-rays, but also uh, getting a variety of stuff. Uh, some of these include, include like a painting, a VHS. Uh, several books and even video games even godforsaken video games that is actually amazing so I really want to give major thanks to everybody who sent me uh, a letter uh, anybody who has sent me a package and all that kind of stuff you guys are just absolutely amazing uh, this this is just absolutely really incredible and from the bottom of my heart I just want to say thank you guys so much uh, this is just amazing really so um, wow, I I'm pretty much gonna go and uh, have some fun with all this, so until next time guys, see you later dudes! Hey guys, thanks for watching. Once again, I would like to thank everyone who participated and sent me letters, packages, and all sorts of stuff for what's in the box. If you would like to send me something and have it appear on the show, then send it to Animat. 3790 St. Charles, P.O. Box 96511, BP Brunswick, at Kirkland, Quebec, H9H3C3. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, see you later, dudes!